Welcome to Quarantine Connections. Your 30-minute date starts now. Enjoy. Hi. Hi. So I just got my first match from the dating app. His name is Omar. Cute. Our date is in 20 minutes. I have no idea what to wear, and I am freaking the f out. You pushed a human out of your vagina. You can go on a blind date. I'm pretty sure that I've completely f***ed up this entire date in less than 30 minutes. No, no, honestly, this has been one of the most awkwardly enjoyable dates I've had in months. So. Really? Definitely. Well, that's me. <laughs> Awkward and enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, are you okay? Oh, shit. Oh, are you, are you, oh. Oh, oh, shit. I, I forgot I had a roast in the oven. Um, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, uh, whoa. Hi. Hi, Kaylee. Alana Fred here. How lovely to meet you. Uh, lovely to meet you too. I'm sorry. I'm a little out of breath. I've just been running around. I had to get my daughter to my exes and he was running behind and then I was driving back over here and I hit every single red light, of course, on the way back. And so I'm just a little a bit of a mess. Sorry. Don't, don't you worry, beautiful. It's <laughs> no problem. This is an hour for you. So don't worry. I think... I'm just feeling a little anxious and say, I don't really know what I'm getting myself into. Yeah, hot water. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, this is a little maybe awkward in the beginning because you don't know me yet and your friends have purchased these sessions for you. And then, honestly, it's the first time in 20 years anyone's ever done that. So it really speaks to how much they love you, how much they care about you. Yeah, I'm really, really lucky to have them. Surprise! Welcome to your divorce party. You are free to go and free. <laughs> oh, I love you guys so much, but I don't know if it's something that's worth celebrating. Well, think of it like a graduation. From a failed marriage? From a relationship that came to an end. Yeah, and thank goddesses that it did. He was sucking the life out of you. We were miserable together. I know, but... We've been better the last few months. You know, we've had minimal fighting, not that much drama. I only occasionally want to kill you. So I think that's progress. It just might be a little too late. I filed for divorce last week. And we've been separated for six months. I mean, someone had to pull the trigger here and you know, I didn't know the right time to tell you. I mean, Zoe's constantly around us and, and um, are, you, are you hearing this? Could you, you're not saying anything. You're frozen? Oh. No. You're divorcing me over video chat? No, I'm not I'm informing you that I'm divorcing you over video chat. This is not about him. This is about Kaylee. And we have presents. Think of us as the three wise women. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. First, I am giving you eight sessions with an intimacy coach. But the only person I'm getting intimate with right now is myself. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> she is totally into self-love. Do you want me just to tell you a little bit about me just so you feel a little bit more at ease? That'd be great. 
Okay. Yeah, of course. So, um, I am an intimacy expert and I've worked with singles and couples for about 20 years. And what I've discovered is that most issues uh, that come up, we call them like an intimacy blind spot, issues that are in the way that make us suffer or spin in our heads or break up or get divorced, et cetera. They all come down to a few common blind spots that once we heal, allow you to actually feel the the strength in your vulnerability, allow you to open your heart, allow you to thrive intimately. Because what we've discovered is that if you don't love yourself fully on the inside, you can't manifest a partner who loves you fully on the outside. It's another way of saying like you need to become the one to find the one so that you can keep the one. Wow, that is beautiful and a very far leap from where I am right now. Oh, I get it. Understood. So where are you now, love? Uh, I'm a divorced single mom. Got it. Got it. Tell me more. Uh, well, trying to do this during a pandemic is pretty much next to impossible. Mm. The only adult that I can be in the same room with safely and who can even touch me is my ex-husband. Mm. So you can imagine how tragically awful that is. But then again, the whole world's a dumpster fire, so it just fits right on in. That is the perfect segue to my gift, a brand new vibrator, baby. <laughs> It'll be on your doorstep at the end of the week, mm -hmm. and it's going to change your life. Orgasms in two minutes or less, or your money back. My money back. You get it. <laughs> you had me at orgasms in two minutes. This brings us to the last and final gift, which will hopefully turn your sex party of one into a party of two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, exponential. I don't know, whatever floats your boat, whatever plows your field. Wop, 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 wop. Kaylee, I signed you up for a dating app. Oh, please do not say Tinder. No, be, you're not ready for that. I'm going to give it to you straight. This app is called Quarantine Connections, and it's completely blind. There's no photos. There's no profiles. Once a week, they're going to send you your match, and after you've texted on the app for like 15 minutes, they send you a link to a video chat. And if, if you decide that you want to go on a virtual date, you will literally have no idea who's on the other side of the screen. That sounds completely terrifying. And this is exactly why you have to do it. <laughs> yes, Kaylee, baby. I love you when you can't control everything, especially your relationships. Yeah, my divorce papers agree with you. Do you notice how you kind of use humor or sarcasm to deflect when you don't want to feel something? Oh, you just figured me out in less than two minutes. It's okay. It's very common. I used to do it myself. Okay. And I bet you your divorce with your husband is not the first time you did this, just shut it down and just be funny kind of behavior. True? Yes. Although I think in the past, I even went to a further extreme. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, so every other relationship that I've had, I could just cut them out of my life and move on. I could just start fresh, not return their emails or phone calls. And I can't do that with Kyle, my ex-husband, because he's the father of my child. We have daily contact with each other yeah. and I'm struggling with how to move forward if I can't do what I usually do, which is just kind of cut bait and go, right? Just. Yeah, that was my first uh, alarm bell. The idea that you don't want to feel, so you just cut bait, stuff it away and move on and that you can't do that this time. This makes me think, I don't know how the relationship actually ended, but this idea of pushing down our feelings, closing our heart, right? The only place to live would be your head. And that obviously just gets us into the mind and quite often fear-based mind. So we want to control and we become very masculine, even e-masculating because our heart is closed and we can't feel, we don't know what we know. We don't feel safe. Does mm. that resonate? Yeah, it does. I, um, I'm kind of, you know, I am controlling, I'm not kind of, I am, <laughs> I should just own it. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm a vent planner for a living, you know, so I control things. 
I oh. plan, I organize. Mm-hmm. That's what I do. And I can't do that to my relationships. Mm-mm. And I can't uh, make people feel a way that they don't feel. Yeah. And so I spent a lot of my marriage, I think probably in that masculine role, which you can imagine didn't really make my ex want to have sex with me. <laughs> I don't think we've had sex in what, about a year? Right. Okay. Well, you know, maybe if he had moved back in with me during quarantine, you would have gotten some. I just downloaded Bumble, so we'll see how that works out. You, oh, you are unbelievable right now. I'm not meeting anybody, all right? I was just testing the waters a little bit. And to my point, it's been dragged out long enough. Fine. Go be single, Kyle. Go bumble it up. You know, leave me here to take care of everything like I always do. I sense that men have hurt you. What do you believe about men? Well, in my experience, all men are broken. Okay, that's a loser of a belief, love. You're going to create that reality. Okay, say that for me. All men are broken. Say that once. All men are broken. Okay, and as you think all men are broken, what is the emotion that follows the thought all men are broken? Oh, I, I felt guilty for thinking that. Okay. Stay right there. Stay right there. I know you don't like to feel just for 10 seconds, feel the guilt for thinking that guilt is self-punishment love. This is not going to go well. If you keep feeling guilty and punishing yourself, just three or three or four more seconds, feel the guilt, feel the guilt, feel the guilt. And as you feel the guilt, what is the next thought that you think after feeling the guilt? Uh, it's my fault. All right. Okay. That's all my fault. Cool. All you do is victimize yourself. You said you needed space away from me and you were really unhappy. And I thought, okay, give him that time, let him move out. And maybe he'll realize how much he misses you and how much he loves you and how much his family means to him. And he'll come back. Uh, apparently we were on different pages. You were, you were in entirely different novels, Kyle. You are Dostoevsky and I am, I am something different. I'm Shakespeare. I don't know. God damn it. You're such a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently we were just in two different universes and I wanted to be married to you and you wanted to divorce me. What is the emotion that follows that thought that it's all my fault? I just, I feel sad. Yeah, thank you. Uh, No, 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 no talking. I got you. I'm right uh, here. Oh, I know. I got you. I'm right here. Feel the sadness. This is my love is what you've been running from. Just Mm -hmm. close. I got you. This is what you've been running from probably for decades. Just three or four more seconds. Feel the sad. Go towards the sad. Dive into the sad. Just keep breathing. Two more seconds, feel the sad all the way, all the way to the core. You're doing so well. Feel the sad, feel the sad, take a breath. And now what is the thought that follows the feeling of sad? (sighs) I feel, um, I feel hope actually, which is strange. that maybe it doesn't have to always be this way. Yeah. That I can somehow break the pattern. Yes, you absolutely can. When you feel the sad, that's like compassion for yourself. So then you move into hope that we can create a different way. Absolutely. And the way we did that is we had to feel in order to heal, to get to this place of hope. The only way through is through. I'm so sorry, but every time this is what we're going to be doing because your old survival mechanism of shutting people down and cutting them off hasn't been going very well. And you've been living in your mind, your fear-based mind, which goes against your knowing. So you can't even trust yourself, which makes you feel scared, which makes you into the control freak. No offense. Yeah. When When we live in our heart, what happens is we open our heart and it turns on the best of our brain. And it turns on our intuition and you're in total alignment and you're going to feel really, really good. And you can get me there in eight sessions. (laughs) Yeah, I can. I can. 
You just need to commit to being willing to sit in that fire and feel your feelings like you just did. You're going to burn, but I promise you, I promise you, you will be like a phoenix rising out of the flame. Yeah, well, right now I'm just a lonely pigeon searching for scraps. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. Uh, Omar, right? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Um, I feel a little underdressed. We gotta get dressed. I need to see options. I don't have options because I have not dated in a decade. I have my typical mom uniform, not no. sexy. I have exercise clothes, also not no. sexy. I have work clothes, really unsexy. I think this might be why my marriage ended. I don't have any sexy clothes. No, 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 no. The red dress that you wore to my bachelorette, that one that makes your boobs look amazing. You're gonna wear that. Oh, hot. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, but I wore this eight years ago when I had perky breasts before I breastfed Zoe for two and a half years. Now I have these flat pancakes that hang down to my waist. Okay, bitch. That's what a bra is for. Put it on. I literally have not worn a bra since we went into lockdown. Well, it was either this or an oversized t-shirt and stretchy pants. <laughs> uh, I prefer this. You look, you look great. Thank you. This is going to be kind of weird to say a minute into our first date, but your place is really clean and organized. I'm impressed. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you. Um, uh, now that I spent all my time here, I have to keep it neat or else I'll go insane, so. Oh, so you're working from home then? Yeah, actually, I actually haven't left my place since uh, we went into lockdown in March. Other than food delivery, I haven't seen a person in real life since then. I thought I was strictly quarantined, but that is a whole other level. I'm yeah. sorry, that, that sounds like it's been kind of lonely. Yeah, I mean, usually I don't mind being alone, but uh, virtual dating breaks up the monotony. And I've had a few good ones and a couple strange ones, and then one that was just truly awful. Okay, well now you have to tell me that story. Let's just say she got so wasted she passed out mid-date. Full disclosure. I drank an entire bottle of wine before we started the video chat. Oh, okay. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm not serious, okay. I am not actually an alcoholic, I just date them. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that was a massive overshare, wasn't no, it? it was. Yeah, it was, yep, it was. That's why I like virtual dating. It strips away all the usual games and the bullshit. You can just really dig deep and get to know someone, you know? Oh, I like that silver lining. It's romantic. Yeah, until things take a turn for the worse. Though. Yeah, there we go. Spoke too soon. It's, for me, virtual dating during lockdown, um, it has an expiration date. Uh, usually the relationship hits a wall because I can't progress past the video chat because I have uh, severe asthma. And um, meeting up with someone in real life, it's a question of life and death, and I just can't risk it. Uh, did you just take a screenshot? No. Sorry, there's another text. Uh, <gasps> he is a personal trainer. Oh, hot. Oh, Kaylee's gonna be fucking ripped. I know. You have to take a screenshot of him. Wait, that makes a sound. How, he's gonna know that I did that. You mute it, you mute yourself. But he's gonna see that I'm muted. No, because he's going to be staring at your cleavage. He's going to be distracted. I just got a notification saying that you took a screenshot. Oh, my God. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Um, that is mortifying. Well, you didn't know that it was... No, no. I thought if I muted myself, you couldn't hear the sound of the screenshot, <laughs> and you wouldn't know, and I could be all stealth about it. Oh, my God. <laughs> So embarrassing! <laughs> Honestly, thank you. I, I haven't actually laughed this hard in a long time. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Do I tell him I'm divorced? Do I tell him I have a daughter? No. On the I date, do I tell him? I don't know. I would not offer up that info. I think selective withholding is fine. That's the way to go. Selective withholding kind of sounds like lying. No, it's selective. It's a nice way of saying lying. 
It's selective withholding. Could you just hold on a second? I could, I just need to go uh, take care of my dog. So I'll be right back, okay? Yeah, Don't yeah. go anywhere. Stay right there. I'm gonna mute myself. I'll be right back, okay? Uh, Shit. No, you do not need a snack. I already made you dinner. You ate plenty of food. You are not hungry. I am not your personal chef. Okay. I just need you to give me 20 more minutes, okay? That's all I'm asking for. Just please, please, please give me 20 more minutes. I am begging you. Okay. Just gonna mute my. No, uh, it what it wasn't on mute. It's on mute now. Yeah. Yeah, you just kind of heard that whole thing, didn't you? Yeah, it, but if you need to feed your dog, it's totally fine. Go for no, it. No, no, no. I already fed her. It's just that she expects every want, need, and desire of hers to be the only thing that I think about twenty four seven, and that she's the center of my universe all the time. You probably think I'm a horrible person. I don't usually yell at her like that. I would be the worst dog owner. Uh, I was actually thinking of fostering during lockdown, but um, I spent 12 hours a day in front of my laptop, so. 12 hours of sessions, that sounds exhausting. Sessions? What do you mean? Personal training sessions? Why, why would I do that? Because you're a personal trainer? No. No, no, def definitely not. I'm, I'm not. I'm um, sorry. Kind of feel like I'm losing my mind. I remember distinctly you sending me a message saying you were a personal trainer when we were texting before the chat that we're in now. No. I mean, unless I blacked out on my alternate personality who um, works out like crazy and drinks protein shakes and hulks <laughs> out, uh, took over my body. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. Uh, no, no, I'm not a personal trainer. Uh, I'm like a uh, complete opposite. Uh, I code for a tech company. Oh, you code for a tech company. Yeah. That is super cool. I'm sorry. You, oh, uh, you're acting like some beefed up personal trainer guy and instead you got me. I'm, I'm sorry. That, that's probably really disappointing. I, no, no, I, I am absolutely not disappointed at all. In fact, I am the complete opposite of disappointed. Really. Okay. I just feel a little confused and I'm a little worried about my reading comprehension skills and I'm pretty sure that I've completely fucked up this entire date in less than 30 minutes. No, no, honestly, this has been one of the most awkwardly enjoyable dates that I've had in months. So. Really? Definitely. Well, that's me. <laughs> Awkward and enjoyable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh my god, are you okay? I forgot. I have, I have a roast in the oven. I'm, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, okay? You're, oh, don't, oh. don't go anywhere, Cheryl. I'll be right back. Oh, uh, wait. Cheryl? Who's Cheryl? What? Holy shit, what the fuck just happened? Who the fuck is Cheryl? Okay, um, sorry, didn't mean to scream. Uh, hello? Hi. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I can't actually really see you very well. I, could you like tilt the screen or something? I, I'm not supposed to be talking to you. I, I work for Quarantine Connections as a okay. tech. Okay. Do you have any idea what happened to Omar? Is he okay? Oh, I don't know. I removed him from the call so I can't see him anymore. Ooh, rewind. You could see us? Like you actually were watching our date? Yeah, it's kind of my job. Oh, that's super creepy. So we were just your reality TV show for the night. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, see, the thing is... Hmm. Usually, I'm a fly on the wall for the drama, but this time I created it. I'm so sorry. I made a horrible mistake. I put you in the wrong room. With the wrong Omar. So the guy I was texting before the video chat... Was a different Omar? Oh, all right. Well, that explains the personal trainer debacle and him calling me Cheryl.
I'm I'm so sorry. I I, I feel absolutely horrible about this. I really want to make this up to you. I, I could make sure that you were matched with the right Omar next time. No, 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 no. That's not going to be necessary because I'm pretty sure this is a massive sign from the universe that I should never date again, ever. But, but you were doing great. No, I really did not. Except for the screenshot thing. Yeah. You know, you might want to have like a warning pop up for people who've never used the app before to let them know not to take screenshots of people. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm not, I don't mean to yell at you. Hold I'm on, just, wait, oh, Hold on. I, I have an idea. Yeah. I could be your online dating whisperer. So you're going to give me a tech tutorial? No. I could be like a guardian angel working in the background to make sure your dates go well. And if they're going terribly wrong, uh, hmm. we could have a code word, and then I could kick the guy off the chat. Are you allowed to do that? Not exactly. If you don't say anything, I won't. And if all goes well, I get to keep my job. And you get a better online dating experience. So far, I found out that you've been a drama teacher a fantasy model, a lifeguard, you are a renaissance man. Oh my God, yes! Yes, you see what I did there? Thank you, I did and I liked it. Ah, good. I really wish I could pour you a drink. Oh my God! Holy shit! Patrick, are you okay? Did I mention I'm also a stuntman? If I fall for you, could it be just for a little while? So when it falls apart, it'll be routine. Then I find your arms, and I work my way up to your flanges, and I give them a little tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, laughter, laughter. That's what I <laughs> love it. What the hell? I'm gonna do it with you. I'm in. I'm in. Same time next week. Okay, I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Nothing out there could ever stop me from chasing after the way you la 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 love me. Keeping me up to cups of coffee Baby, you make me feel so la 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 lovely I keep on running, no, I should've won it uh -huh, uh -huh. I keep on falling right into your town I can't get you off my mind So sweet, yeah, I need it from you Got my hands all on you Sweet, everything I wanted Sugar like yes, please, love is like candy Our dear, wonderful, beautiful Kaylee, may this new chapter be filled with love and laughter and earth shattering orgasms, girl. Yeah. Oh. When is the vibrator coming? I need orgasms, please. Guaranteed. <laughs>